In the last six weeks, the world has changed. COVID-19 has made it so that nothing will ever be the same again. For a lot of you now, quarantine, isolation, work from home, curfew, lockdown, whatever your circumstance, that is now the new reality. Now, some of us have figured out how to cope under these new circumstances, but there are others of us out there who haven't quite got it down yet. So how do we get it down? How do we make these new circumstances seem like the way we used to live prior to COVID-19? How do we get a grip? How do we stay motivated? So for those of you who've got it down, Pat, that's all well and good. But for those of you who haven't, well then, this one's for you. My name is Evie Bentham. What do I do? I invigorate and I excite. Shit, I motivate and I ignite something in people that makes them want to be the best that they could ever be. I've been doing it for nearly two decades through my delivery of life-changing fitness programs and group exercise classes and just general guidance on how to navigate the whole approach to maintaining uh, a healthy lifestyle. So everybody now is trying to find a way to keep themselves motivated in the COVID-19 scheme of things, myself included. And for me, I've decided that the way I'm going to stay motivated is by motivating others. So today, I just want to talk about staying motivated on your fitness journey. So if your normal routine was get up in the morning, hit the gym at five or six o'clock in the morning, and then head to work, come home, interact with your family, sleep, and then repeat it the next day. This COVID-19 social and physical distancing situation is like a curveball. I mean, this is thrown your very being out of whack so how are we now gonna create some semblance of normalcy the answer is structure you need to structure your day to include time for training you need to structure your day to include time for you anybody that knows me knows that i do not like to train at home I work in the gym I like to train in the gym that's where I like to do it when I come home I want to just relax I want to sit back I don't want to do a whole lot I'm a totally different person at home than I am in the gym I'm a lot quieter I just feel like you know I want to wind down and turn down and and just be at ease with my own thoughts and, and, and with my family at home you know, I would come home sometimes and, and my wife would be training in the bedroom. And I'd open the door and I'd look and she'd be in there doing burpees and shit. And I'm like, you know, you work in the gym too. Why are you exercising at home? I mean, to me, it just doesn't make any sense. But after the first couple of days home, I quickly realized that, you know what? I'm going to need to change my way of thinking. I'm going to need to get excited about exercising at home and the first thing I'm gonna need to do is designate a specific time where I can get that done without worrying about anybody interrupting my flow right you know when when your family's there they need you for different things and you got to be there for them but you also need to be there for you so if you get up early enough then you have that opportunity, you have the time to dedicate towards that. And in the 14 days that we've been locked down and under curfew, I've managed to train all but one day. And for me, that's unheard of, especially when you talk about training at home. Now, at first it wasn't easy and it took me a couple of sessions to get adjusted, but 
pretty much um I'm like all over it now to the point where it is now my new normal. So how was I able to make this transition from someone who was opposed to training at home to now someone who's training at home for 30 minutes a day pretty much every single day? Tony Robbins once said in, in one of his motivational talks that human beings absolutely follow through on things that are consistent with who they believe they are. So for me, it was inevitable that I come up with a solution. For some of you, it might not be that easy. I'm a fitness professional as well as a fitness enthusiast. Uh, I have to set an example for my clients and people who look up to me and are inspired and moved by me. But I also have a personal desire to be able to do the best that I can. So what do I do? I designate a time. I designate a place. I determine the duration of each session. And I make it happen. So how do you make this work for you? Do the same thing. Designate a time. Designate a place. Determine the duration. Determine how many times a week you want to exercise. And you make it happen. I don't expect that you're going to do it as much as me but you determine your threshold you determine how much a part of you being as healthy as you want to be and being as fit as you want to be really is and that's what's going to motivate you to adhere to this regime put it in your calendar the same way you would any other important appointment that's what you need to do you need to schedule it that's what's going to make it real. That's what's going to make it happen. Schedule it and stick to it. Schedule it and stick to it. Schedule it and stick to it. Do I need to say it again? That's what's going to make it happen. So now when my wife looks out on the back porch and she sees me out there getting it in, she's shaking her head and wondering what's gotten into me because now the roles are reversed and I'm exercising more now at home than she used to, or currently does, for that matter. For further assistance with this and any other fitness-related matters, drop a line to walkupworkout at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you heard, share with someone you think may benefit, and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so that you know when new videos come out.